In this advanced tutorial, we're going to use Luminary to add some organic glints and reflections to this animated shot in After Effects. Let's jump right in. First, we need to import Luminary into After Effects. Just right click in the project panel and choose Import. Then grab the Luminary folder. As you can see, the Luminary files are divided up into five different categories. For this shot, we just want to add some subtle glints to the headlights. So we'll open up the intricate folder and grab luminary number 84. Hit S and maybe we'll bring the scale down a bit. Let's drag it over here and set the blend mode to screen. Let's also go to effects, color correction, and grab the curves adjustment. We'll punch the contrast a bit, maybe pull out the reds and greens to help it match our shot. There we go. All right, let's turn this layer off for a minute and build our matte layer. We'll just duplicate our footage and call it Luma Matte. Then go to Effects, Color Correction, and grab a Curves Adjustment. And uh, we'll blow out the highs quite a bit and maybe crunch the darks. Let's go back to Effects, color correction, and also grab the hue saturation effect. Let's pull that saturation down. And lastly, let's go to effects, blur and sharpen, and grab the Gaussian blur. We'll set it to about 200 or so. Let's shut this layer off and turn our luminary clip back on. And let's grab the ellipse tool to create a little mask around it. Click F and we'll feather it up a bit. Perfect. Now we're going to use the matte layer we just created to reveal the luminary clip. Just make sure the luminary clip is located directly below the luma mat. Then select luma mat. Perfect. Since the car is zooming around, we'll need to make sure the luminary effects stay on the headlights. Now you could motion track the effects to the car, but there's actually a simpler way that looks a lot more realistic. We're going to simply duplicate the layers and drag the luminary clip back over here. Now, as the car moves across the screen, the alpha mat will always be revealing a luminary clip. Let's duplicate it again and drag the clip over to the other side. Maybe we'll hit S and scale it down a bit. And we'll duplicate it again and drag the luminary clip a little ways back. Lastly, let's add some texture to the lights that are flashing by in the background. We'll just duplicate the two layers again. Turn off the luma mat for a minute. Uh, let's hit S and scale it up quite a bit. Maybe we'll hit R and rotate it some. Let's turn the luma mat back on and see how it looks. Awesome. 